All right, so there's also some uh, various linear algebra stuff you can do with NumPy. I'll go through this pretty quickly, but um, you can do basic scalar multiplication or addition. Um, so and then we have this, ar this array here, so we can do a, a dot product of two arrays or a dot product of an array and a vector or a dot product of two vectors. I won't talk about a matrix map multiplication in this class, but if you've studied it before, you know what, I'm, you know what this is about. So this is how you do it with NumPy. Um, you can also uh, we also have a couple different things here. So we're going to have a, a matrix uh, uh, we, we can we have we have a so we have an additional data type called matrix which has some uh, additional operators and has some it handles things a little differently so um, you can get this column vector thing you can do um, so m by m or m times m is going to give you uh, the dot product or the dot product here. So this is a, a if you're really doing a lot of matrix math, you can change your array to a matrix type, and then it will it, the, these operators will inherit a new meaning. Uh, NumPy also has all kinds of statistical calculations, so you can get the mean of a of a list, the standard deviation, and the variance the minimum or the maximum or the sum. Um, lots of different um, sort of arithmetic and statistical operators. And finally, you can, uh, you can iterate over elements in an array. So we can do a, a for loop where we say for something in this array, print that something. So for element in V1, we can print that, that element. Um, similarly, if we have a two-dimensional array, we'll, to, to get every single element, we'll need to go through both the rows uh, and, the, and the indexes. I was, yeah, the rows and the columns. So, um, so what we're doing here is we're saying for each row in M, so this is going to give us the first row and then the second row, uh, print the word row and then that whatever is stored is that row and then for each element in the row print that element. So here we're, we're going through this, um, this two-dimensional array and printing the, the full row and then each element of the row um, and there's two of them. There's also a uh, a function called enumerate, which will return uh, the index or the position of the element and the element as a tuple. And so the way that we unpack this is we say, uh, in this case as a loop, we say for row index row in enumerate m, and then we can do some some stuff with that. We can print the, print it, um, and then for we can then enumerate through the, the row itself. We can get the column, which would be the column index and the element, and then we can do some things. And then we can we can use those indexes to to uh, for example square the matrix. So M is right now one two three four. We're going to go through each row, uh, print it, go through the column, print it, and then we're going to modify M. So we have row index 0, which is row 1, 2, and then we have column index 0, which is element 1, and element the element is 2. And then row index 1 is, is row 3, 4, column 0 is element zero, 3, and uh, column 1 is element 4. So this is just printing out uh, what we have here. But what we also did was at the end of all this, we, we for each element in that matrix, or in that two-dimensional array, we squared that element. So now M should be the square of, of the original. 
So actually, if we if we ran this whole thing again, it's, everything's going to be squared again because we st we saved the output as the new array. Question. Yes, let's see. If you wanted to square the matrix? Yeah. Uh, we can try. Yeah, it looks like it does work. So, again, I'm, I'll go back and... Yeah. Yeah, so in this case... So this would be, um, uh, let's do this. Yeah. So that does work. All right. 